Now let us understand another reaction which these fats and oils are giving that is hydrogenolysis. See this reaction hydrogenolysis stearine first is this stearine fat and this fat is reacting under pressure 200 atmospheric and in the presence of this is a CuCr2O4 that is copper chromium catalyst you will get glycerol and not the salt of any fatty acid you will get the octadecyl alcohol please understand means what the stearine is broken down into two alcohol glycerol and octadecyl alcohol this is what see this the, the the hydrogenolysis what is hydrogenolysis get this very clear the two reactions are different when we are reacting it with uh, sodium hydroxide or water hydrogenation when we are uh, doing you know hydrolysis when we are doing you know in hydrolysis by using water or acid or sodium hydroxide you are getting glycerol yes but you are getting the salt of fatty acids understand so that we are we we, we said it's a soap soap is what the sodium salt of long chain of fatty acid now in this case this is hydrogenolysis this is the cleavage reaction breakdown reaction this is the cleavage reaction in which fat or oil molecules is treated with excess hydrogen under the uh, under the pressure of 200 atmospheric pressure in the presence of copper chromium catalyst in this reaction fats or oils they get split up into one is glycerol and other one would be the higher aliphatic alcohol means what hydrogenolysis means splitting of a given compound by means of hydrogen and to get what to get the alcohol this is the hydrogenolysis reaction now if you see the saponification reaction this reaction we have already done with now I just just an, just an example okay now the first compound is what tripalmitine tripalmitine is a fat it's react with sodium hydroxide to give the sodium palmitate sodium palmitate is what sodium salt it is nothing but the sodium salt and you will get the glycerol out of this uh, reaction understand so when hydrolysis of fats and oils is carried out by using the alkali like this sodium hydroxide caustic pota caustic soda or caustic potash alkaline salt of the fatty acids known as the soaps and the glycerol is obtained this reaction we are calling it as the saponification reaction please understand when hydrolysis of fats and oil is carried out by using alkalis like caustic soda or caustic potash the alkaline salt sodium salt you see alkaline salt of fatty acid is obtained and that is known as the soap and the glycerol is obtained and this entire reaction we are calling it as a saponification reaction Please understand, in, in many of the countries where the biodiesel is uh, produced from use, by using the uh, used, reused, multi-used uh, 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 oils, wherever this glycerol is produced from uh, in the manufacturing of biodiesels, please understand that glycerol is again utilized for cleaning of uh, uh, the, the blockage in the drainage system. They are not using it elsewhere, but wherever there is a blockage in the drainage system, this glycerol is used so that the glycerol will solubilize all these fat components which are inside these uh, drainage system and the blockage will be removed out of it. But uh, for time being, you understand uh, the saponification reaction wherein fats and oils are reacting with the caustic uh, uh, soda, understand sodium hydroxide, okay. And this uh, uh, caustic potash or caustic soda, we are using it and to form the sodium palmitate that is the simple soul. And this is the saponification reaction.